Hello everyone, my name is Amy, I'm your German Tingu and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I'm Chris, here as always. And today we have a little sit and talk with some hot chocolate and we want to talk about a lot of differences to Germany that we like or maybe don't like. Right? First things first, we got our first tattoo in Korea! <laughs> Yay! Friendship tattoo, bright tattoo, everything tattoo. I love it. The first thing we like is the food at the convenience store or convenience stores in general. They normally have open like 24 hours every day, even on holiday. Like there was Solal a few weeks ago and everything was open. I don't know that from Germany. Like when we have special days, like Christmas, mm. everything is closed. Sunday, everything is closed. But these convenience stores, they are open all the time. And they have really awesome food. As you know from the 7-Eleven video, you can get your food ready in the convenience store itself. It's not only the 7-Eleven cafe, it's in every convenience store. There are microwaves, water heaters, I don't know, everything. And you can get just your food ready and eat it right there. So in Germany we don't have this concept of CVS convenience stores, just supermarkets where you can buy food and then you get the food ready at home. But we have a similar concept which is called in German kiosk and there you can buy sweets, cigarettes, um, alcohol, alcohol newspaper. newspaper, but that's it actually and it's pretty expensive yeah they I don't think. have the ready to eat food like here in the convenience stores right. also a thing that i like compared to germany is how cafes work here like normal cafes where you can buy chocolate and cafe and they have everything <laughs> and cake and um, you can sit there for hours with your notebook with your learning bo learning books, with your friends just talking for hours, like really for hours. You don't need to rebuy stuff, you can just buy one thing and be there for half of the day. And some of them are even open for 24 hours so you can live there, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, you could, you, you could probably be there for like 24 hours a day with just buying one drink. In Germany you are forced to rebuy all the time, like not forced, but um, the waiter will come to your table all the time and ask, do you want something? Do you want something? Do you want something? Maybe? Yes? Yeah? They eat theme cafes like animal cafes, cats, dogs, raccoons. Yeah, but they normally have an entrance fee, so... Mm, yeah. It, some of them just have an entrance fee, some of them have an entrance fee and free drink. Also franchise cafes like One Piece, Harry Potter, where we were. Um, <laughs> Hello Kitty Cafe, uh, Cacao, Friends. Cacao Friends. They are more expensive, but uh, yeah, it's a theme cafe, so... What do you expect? And they have even more special cafes where you can decorate your own cake or they have specific color scheme or special vibes. First thing that we don't like, there is no personal space in Korea. If you need your personal space, like really need your personal space, this is not the country for your vacation, trust me. <laughs> they bump into you all the time. Also in subways, they often stand directly in front of you, but it's just like normal. You have to stand in these two lines. <laughs> um, but in, in the beginning, it's really uncomfortable. Like when I experienced it the first time that someone just stood right in front of me, I was like, okay, dude, just just go somewhere else please but it's it's normal here and even in some restaurants it could be possible that you sit in front of strangers or besides them and in some ways the seats are really really small so if it's full you like sit directly to everyone else 
but don't be offended if there's space in the subway they will move away from you to another seat another good thing in korea is the cctv i'm a big fan of cctv because i don't know if it's the culture of the cctv but you can leave your stuff everywhere and nobody will touch it you can you can just go into a cafe for example put all the stuff on the table open your notebook and um, then you go downstairs to order something and leave everything there so it's pretty cool um, for example, when I was in Korea the first time, on the first day I was eating with a friend and when we were leaving the restaurant, um, my phone just fell out of my pant back pocket thing <laughs> and um, I didn't notice that and we weren't even out of the restaurant for like five steps. There was someone running behind us with my phone in the hand screaming your phone your phone and he gave it back to me and i was super super happy if that happened in germany i would say 50 50 percent chance that my phone would be gone another bad thing is how taxi drivers and bus drivers drive because bus drivers they drive so like reckless i guess i'm uh, always afraid to die yeah yeah like this because because the street is really bumpy and so you have to be afraid that you fell off and taxi drivers they always most of the time drive too fast like if the street sign is 80 they drive 120 <laughs> and most sometimes especially at night they don't care about red lights oh hell yeah they just drive over the red light so if you are walking at night and want to cross the street be careful <laughs> because it <laughs> could be possible that there is a taxi and he will not see you and that will be bad but a pretty good thing about the public transportation is that it's compared to Germany pretty cheap and pretty um, often like between 5 30 a.m. and midnight to 1 a.m. depends on the day um, there are normally the green line is normally uh, driving every f five minutes and uh, every other line every like five to ten minutes maybe in the very early or very late time like 10 to 20 minutes but really really often so you can get everywhere really quick and if you want to go home between like 1 a.m and 5 a.m and you're brave enough you can take a taxi <laughs> because they're everywhere especially at the hot spots um, sometimes it's pretty hard to get one because sometimes they just drive by they they don't care um, but oftentimes they're pretty cool like you, you can get home at every time of the day and as I mentioned before if you want to cross the street be careful even if it's green be careful <laughs> and many times the motorcycle especially the delivery people <laughs> yeah they drive very closely to you even on the road where they shouldn't drive where many people are they don't care they just drive but if you see a motorcycle coming just walk your way don't change your direction or your tempo just walk straight like you want to walk because they calculate the way around you like if you would suddenly jump out of the way or change your direction they will probably drive over you <laughs> right let's talk about the Wi-Fi yes there is a lot of it no it's not everywhere especially if you're not having a Korean card mm. like if you have a foreign SIM card the Wi-Fi is not everywhere I heard that in every video and I relied on that and I came here for the first time and I didn't have Wi-Fi everywhere so if you don't have a Korean card you don't have Wi-Fi everywhere but compared to Germany you have a lot of Wi-Fi you have a lot of free Wi-Fi and 
restaurants, in big malls, in nearly every subway station, um, in cafes, sometimes even like in the middle of a street at uh, big space thingies. But if you have a Korean SIM card, then you probably have Wi-Fi everywhere. Also, you have the free data like in Germany, so you're online all the time. <laughs> in Germany, we have public trash cans everywhere. You just have to look around and you see one or two trash cans. In Korea, not really. In Xincheong and Hongdae, you have a few spots where you have trash cans, but oftentimes, you search far and wide for public trash cans <laughs> and won't find any yeah and most of the time you have to take your trash home with you and throw it away there another funny thing that happened recently that I want to mention we went to an underground rap concert thing because one of the rappers is a friend of her he's called Sido 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 but also there were a lot of other good artists. My favorite were Bully and Wels. And you can find the sound clouds of the three artists of Sido and Bully and Wels down in the box because I love all of them and I want that all of you just go and listen to their songs. It's so cool. The funny thing happened after the concert when we went outside, made our way home and Sido said goodbye to us because he was standing there with like three or four friends who were also rappers but I forgot their names, sorry! So Sido said goodbye to us and one of the guys who were standing with him asked him in Korean who were they and Sido said they are my friends <laughs> and suddenly the guys were like freaking out like what their reaction was hilarious and i don't know if they thought that we can speak any korean <laughs> i mean we're not fluent but we can understand a bit <laughs> Right. So we understood what was going on and we just turned around and started laughing so hard It was super funny because the guy who uh, started with the cheering was super embarrassed And was jumping all across the street waving goodbye and said I love you guys bye bye It was awesome. I love when stuff like this happens and that's it for the first part so far we will film a second part soon because there are so many differences, so many things we like and don't like. We don't want to make like a one 30 minute video out of it, so we're making two parts. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, which is down below. <laughs> also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find the link down in the box. And if you like me and Chris and our videos and Korea, <laughs> consider subscribing thanks for watching anyways guys i hope you have a nice day and bye, -bye.